Hey baby love, today I'm going to show you how to do a regular everyday candle that you can use for protection and to attract what you want. The first thing you're going to do is grab yourself a white candle. It can be any white candle, a seven day candle. I'm going to grab this big boy right here and you're going to need some carving tools. Now, if you have a seven day candle, by all means, grab yourself a permanent marker or a marker that can write on glass that's not going to disappear if your hands rub up against it. But I'm going to use my candle carving tools. These are just basic wood carving tools that I purchased from Dollar Tree. I'm taking one of my tools and I am firmly pressing down into the candle and carving the words protection. And I'm also going to carve all of the things that I'm protecting, family, happiness, health, love, whatever it is I'm attracting or I'm thanking the universe for already having and being grateful for. This candle can go in so many different ways because it's white and it's for a basic everyday candle. So it doesn't have to specify you doing anything but protecting what you already have, cleansing the home, you know, something simple. If you want to just light it for your ancestors as a thank you candle, you can write that onto the candle as well. I would also suggest any sigils from any planets that you normally work with. I work with Jupiter and Venus, so I would suggest you put the sigil for each planet that you work with on your candle. And then you're going to put your name on the candle. You want to write your name at the top, the bottom, and in the middle of this candle. Or you can write it at the base of the candle. It's up to you. But take your time. Carving your candle or writing on your candle should take a couple of minutes. It's not something you need to rush through. You need to feel every word. You need to feel every sigil, everything that you draw on it. It's very important. Once you have every surface of your candle covered with your endorsements, dust off any excess wax that's on your candle and you want to clean up the area. Next, I am adding some protection balm. We made this protection balm on Patreon last year, 2023, and I've used it in every protection ritual, but I never show myself using it because I don't know. It's not my secret weapon because I taught my students how to make it. So if you want to know how to make the protection balm, you are more than welcome to come to the Patreon at patreon.com forward slash insight by Tesh. This bomb does everything from protection to cleansing any type of negative energy, banishing people that you don't want around you. This is a very powerful bomb that I taught y'all to make on Patreon. So I hope that y'all are using it. I know it dyes your fingers sometimes. It can your fingers can get black depending on how much you're using, but it's really really good and you don't need a lot. I'm doing this big old candle and I'm not even going to use a quarter of the container of bomb. So it is, it's amazing. Also, it clears the way of all type of things that are blocking you from finances flowing towards you. So it's good that when you're doing protection work that you can include some finances to come towards you or you can include the finances that you have, that you protect what you have and not lose it. So you can do that as well. So this bomb can just work in so many different angles. It's awesome. Make sure when you're using it, you're rubbing it into the carvings of your candle. You want every carving to be covered in the bomb because it will seep into it and then you can read everything that's on your candle. 
So just really take your time. This is a time where you're also focusing on what it is you're protecting and attracting and all of that goodness. Beautiful. Pay attention to how much is left in the jar. As you can see, I still have a lot to have done such a large candle. So a little goes a long way when it comes to this bomb. And I just love it. I just love it. It can get a little messy now. So you do want to have a paper towel on hand and a little bit of alcohol wipe so you can wipe off any excess residue that gets on the outside but other than that once you wipe it off everything is contained and it you can use it at least a dozen times especially if you're using smaller candles more than a dozen so get yourself some well learn how to make it yourself it is available in the, in the apothecary also at insightbytesh.com if you don't want to make it you can purchase it this is exactly what I want. Each carving is covered in my balm. And now I'm going to speak my intentions into the candle and put her on my altar. I want to thank you guys for joining me. Y'all already know if y'all have any questions, I am here to help. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, my loves. I invite you to join my mystery school where I have created a safe place for you to learn magic and how to make your own metaphysical products. You get weekly life lessons where I teach love, money, banishing, and protection spells. You get a weekly tarot class. I do monthly prosperity spells for my top tier and you get exclusive early access and commercial free content. Join today at patreon.com forward slash insight by Tash.